friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Python for Beginners. In the last video, we started discussion about mathematical operations. We talked about a few preliminary mathematical operations which are very essential if you are working with NumPy. In this particular video, we will be talking about few more mathematical operations and hence this is the part 2 video of this particular mathematical operation thing and there will be another video so in this three videos we would like to cover many of the mathematical operations which are available in NumPy I am not saying that I will be covering everything everything because there are a lot of things to cover and which is sometimes beyond feasibility so let us start today and initially let me take an array so np.array say we'll be taking very simple one one two three four five six seven so this is the let me make it random so that our understanding becomes better say randomly i'm choosing the numbers say this is 12 yeah so if you want to print it just you write x yeah this is printed now uh, let me talk about a few statistical operations suppose np dot max that will give you the max in this particular array so this is 12 if you write np dot min it will give you the minimum value yeah it is 0 here you can see this is 0 if you write np dot mean that means it will give you average so here the average is 5.142 then if you write np dot std that will give you the standard deviation so those are the standard operation and yeah, yeah instead of mean suppose i talked about mean so my mean is 5.14 the average is also same if you write average it will give you 5.14 so those are the basic operations which we use in statistic there are many others but this is for learning purpose and that's why the preliminary things i am just covering now we talked about np.min and np.max suppose main is 0 now there is another function argmin so what does it do it gives you the index so you can see i have already talked like the initial index is 0 so this is the 0th element this is first element second element third element fourth element fifth element so fifth element is 0 sometimes we want to know which position has the minimum number for that we use this particular function that is np.argmin so you can see fifth element has the minimum number similarly you have np.argmax so argmax give you which position so sixth position yeah obviously this one is the maximum now what if you if you just change it suppose i put 15 here so this becomes now maximum so if you write it yeah now it is the second element second means 0th first second so this element is the maximum so we learnt about np.main np.max np.argmax np.argmin np.average so everything np.std also so those things are very useful once we start coding start doing some numerics to solve differential equations algebraic equations then those things will be very much useful and i will be exploring all those things so yeah we are done with preliminary st statistical operations now let us talk about few more operations which are very much needed so initially let me talk about complex number complex number is very important sometimes suppose uh, do we define a complex number a so if you want to define a complex number then you have to define the real part say this is 2 and then imaginary part say this is 3 and then you have to write j in python if you write j it will consider it as a 
imaginary number so if I print it say this is the imaginary number now if you have a imaginary number you may need to know few things those are say np dot real that will give you the real part of the imaginary number and imaginary number is z so yeah this is 2 2 is the real part you know if I want to know the imaginary part I will write np dot image that will give me the imaginary one yeah if I want to know the argument then you have to write np dot angle that will give you the angle between these two so this is coming in radian so let me change it so 1 1 if we make it 1 1 so we know angle between 1 1 is 1 by 1 1 tan inverse 1 is 45 degree so let me check yeah this is 0.785 but this is in radian very difficult to read so we know another operation which we have talked about that is np dot degrees that will convert your radian to degree so now if i click yeah this is 45 degree coming there is another thing which we are interested in complex number that is conjugate so for that you have to write np dot conj or conjugate whichever you write z so this will give you the conjugate number that is 1 minus 1j now if i if you do this so instead of z let me write conjugate z so instead of z i am just cutting it and pasting it here so the angle will change yeah this is minus 45 degree because now it is 1 minus i so the angle is minus 45 degree so this is very nice so we learned about few statistical operations we learned about few conjugate operations and let us learn about few random operations say initially let me tell you about hypot so this is hypot yeah this is a function this is basically hypotenuse so say 3 comma 4 so you know if a triangle has two sides as 3 and 4 the other will be and this is a rectangle the right angle triangle then the other will be 5 so let's see it yeah this is 5 so this is giving you the angle of the high, the side length of the hypotenuse so this is a thing which is there then let us talk about a few more thing like uh, one is np dot cumulative sum say that is come sum this is operation and let us operate it on x so if you forget let me bring the x here we have defined it here so let me bring it here let me insert another cell yeah i'm bringing it here so that you can read carefully yeah this is the array now what we are doing this is come sum what it is doing see initially it is 5 so it is 5 then the number is 2 so what it will do it will do an addition of 5 plus 2 that gives you 7 now it is 15 what it will do it will add this 3 so it will be 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 15 22 so that's a giving 22 if you add additional 4 it will give you 26 so this is how this come sum operator works if you have come product prod that will also give you the product say first 5 5 into 2 10 10 into 15 150 so this is how it is going now i'll tell you a few more things like uh, we have talked about yeah in the last video we have talked about bessel function we have talked about logarithmic function we have talked about all the basic things so few more things those might be necessary sometimes there is something called seal operator a c e i l suppose i will operate 
on some number say a this is phi uh, a equal to 5.346 so this is the number now i want to operate on it yeah it is here np dot c e i l this is a so what it does let us see it gives you six so this is giving you upper ceiling that means 5.3 sometimes what happens you need you have a very dangerous float number and you need to know what is the next integer to that so this particular operation will tell you that suppose let us see 3.7 so yes it gives you four so this is how it works sometimes it, this is necessary you have truncation operator suppose you have a very large number say four three two one so if you want to truncate it so that is truncation say a comma say second point you want to truncate uh, no, not this is not the case. Yeah, truncate operator. What it will do is if you truncate, then it will uh, remove these points. So 3.74, if you truncate, it will give you 3. So we have talked about come sum, we have talked about product, come product. We logarithm, we have talked about psi. Yeah, there is sine hyperbolic function, but this is very similar like uh, if you want to take np dot sin hyperbolic say 2 so it will give you the sine hyperbolic sometimes we need hyperbolic functions and that's why this is very much important and uh, yeah we have talked about sometimes uh, you need to know more modulus I have already talked about in terms of complex numbers so i hope most of the important things are already covered and uh, i look into and i will i will upload another video on whichever is left but i guess yeah most of the things are covered so i today i stop here and meanwhile i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel